Like all of the Canary Islands, the island of Fuerteventura was also constructed via volcanic activity. From satellite, it appears to be merely an extension of the Saharan Desert due to its abundant sand. However, satellite reveals something else. In the central eastern section of the island are a number of dark black lava flows. The four cinder cones these flows originated from erupted within the last 10,000 years, meaning that this island still contains an active volcano. Although no eruptions have occurred in historical times, the long history of this island and its volcanoes means that it will erupt again. This video will discuss this volcano, which is the least volcanically active of the six active volcanoes in the Canary Islands. The Canary Islands can be found several hundred kilometers west of the coast of Morocco. The island of Fuenteventura is the oldest of the seven main Canary Islands and thus has a long geologic history. The reason why this island exists is due to an ancient hotspot which is also responsible for its modern volcanic activity. This hotspot is known as the Canary Hotspot and has been slowly moving westwards, forming islands along the way and creating modern eruptions such as the ongoing eruption on La Palma. The Fuenteventura volcano began forming 20.6 million years ago when a series of fissures opened up on the ocean floor, thus erupting a large volume of lava. Over the next several hundred thousand years, hundreds of eruptions built this volcano until it finally reached the ocean's surface. One of the first areas to reach the surface is now located adjacent to the town of Ahui. By 19.5 million years ago, only 10% of the modern island had been constructed. During the next phase of activity, eruptions propagated both north and south of the existing fissures. This fissure had a prominent curve to it, causing the island to curve to the west. Eventually, two islands merged into one as effusive and explosive eruptions both occurred. You might note that the southern section of Fuenteventura is wider to the eastern side of the rift than to the west. This was not always the case. The prominent ridge seen today represents a supermassive collapse scar where more than 20 cubic kilometers of the existing volcanic edifice slid into the ocean approximately 17 million years ago. Eruptions from this period of activity can be recognized today due to their highly eroded nature and overall gray coloration interspersed with layers of sand. Additional effusive eruptions continued until approximately 12 million years ago when the volcano became dormant. This period of dormancy continued until 3 million years ago when a group of uniquely shaped lavas known as pillow basalts erupted. This occurred due to the much higher sea level at the time, causing many eruptions near what is now the coastline to occur beneath the ocean. Once the sea level receded, more eruptions occurred, expanding the northwest section of the island. Over the last 1 million years, cinder cone forming eruptions have become the norm and have only occurred on the northern half of Fuenteventura. These eruptions covered large areas with black basaltic lava. These cinder cone forming eruptions appear to have occurred about once every 20,000 years. As an example, the vent known as Montana de la Arena covered an area of 10 square kilometers with lava and appears to be 200,000 years old. Approximately 10,000 years ago, a new fissure opened up adjacent to the city of Las Casitas. In a single eruption, four cinder cones formed across a 6 kilometer line of activity. Although this appears to be the most recent site of an eruption on the island, the small Isla de Lobos to the north of the main island is estimated to have formed a mere 7,000 years ago. The next eruption to occur on Fuenteventura will likely not begin for several thousand years. It will originate from one of four locations which are marked on screen. Any eruption would form a new cinder cone and cover up to 20 square kilometers with a thick layer of lava. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.